Hi Star Owners, my name is Crystal and welcome to Advanced Coupons channel. In today's video, I'm going to introduce to you the Store Credit. Store Credit is a feature available in our Advanced Coupons Premium plugin. How does it work? Let me show you four ways on how to use it to help your site. So let's start. Of course, since this is a feature available in our Advanced Coupons Premium plugin, you have to make sure that this plugin is installed and activated on your site. So once you have it, all you have to do is go to Coupons and then click Settings. And once you are on the Settings page, all you have to do is look for the Modules option. And in the Modules option, you need to find where the store credit is and you have to make sure that the store credit is active on your site. So I have it active here. So here it is because sometimes you could turn it off or you could turn it on. So you have to make sure that this is on on your website. Now you are ready to use the store credit. So the first option that we do have or the first way that you could use the store credit is to use it as a reward system to your customer. It's like you can reward your customer with points that they could later use on your site. It's like enticing them to order more. And ordering more means you'll earn more on your site. To manage those store credits, all you have to do is go to this option, manage store credits, and then search for the customer if you want to reward a specific customer. And then let me see here. So I will adjust the point here. All you have to do is click adjust and you have an option here to increase store credit or decrease store credit. Of course, we will be increasing or I'm going to reward this customer an extra credit or an extra store credit on their account. So I'm going to reward them $10 and make an adjustment for that. So the customer will be able to view that on their site. So all you have to do is just go to their account and then they have to log in. And then on the My Account page, the store credit should be available there. So let's check. So I have this option here on this store credit option on the dashboard here. So the $10 that I applied from the back end is already available on their My Account page. You can also incorporate this reward system with coupons. So for example, if you want to reward a customer for their first order, then you could use a coupon and offer a store credit from there. So once they've processed the order, um, you could manually then adjust their account and reward them with $10. For example, I'm going to show it to you. So I've already pre-made a product here named Store Credit. Let's open it. I'm going to use this product as a free item on their first order. So it would be nice and it would be neat and of course more enticing to order more. So let me open here. So here's the Store Credit product and let me open it. I have it here that says Store Credit of $10 so that you do have a um, reference once you've made some adjustment to it or once you've adjusted this product. So I have it here. I place $1 here so that our plugin will be able to recognize this product. Then all you have to do next is go to coupons. I've also pre-made a coupon here. Let me show it to you. I've used the add products for the free item. And then for the settings, if you want to know more on how to um, offer a coupon for their first order, we are going to link uh, the video here under the description and it will show you how to create this coupon. So I have it here for add products. I have the store credit here will be given to the customer on their first order. So I have the conditions here and then update so let me show you how it will appear on their account so i have it in the shop let's try to purchase something here so i will be adding this hoodie and it's been added and let's check the card since the coupon is auto applied this free item is also auto applied so i do have it here store credit for ten dollars and then you could proceed with the checkout. 
So this would be our option one. Now on our second option, of course, you need to allow the customer to use the store credits on their account. So it's up to them how much they want to use. They want to apply the maximum store credit that is available on their site or um, they could, let's say, apply $5 or that would depend on them. So we on the checkout page, we do have this available. Store head balance, we do have $10 here. So you do have an option whether to apply uh, the full amount or apply, let's say, $5 only. And then it's applied. So at least even if you reward them on their first order, let's say, because they will still be using the store credit to purchase more products on your account or on your site. And for our third option, you could use the store credit for returns and refunds. Majority of the stores, physical or online stores, offer refunds because this will, you know, maintain brand loyalty. You could use, of course, you do have the option to return the money back to their payment method or to their card, or you can refund the money in a form of store credit. Now, let me show you how to do it. Let's say, go to your dashboard, go to the WooCommerce orders, and then open the order. And once you are here, of course, there will be an option for refund. And once you click it, there you have it. There is this refund amount and you do have an option to refund the money as or in the form of sort credit. So if I'm going to refund and I'm going to put $80 here and I'm going to refund the amount now, Let's click it and then let's see on the customer's dashboard if the $80 is available. Yeah. Let's go to the My Account page and let's see the dashboard there. Okay, and then store credit. So I already have $85 of store credit here. That would be the $5 that I had a while ago and the $80 that I just issued for the refund. Now, this is a good thing because there will be no loss of revenue on your end and also there will be no loss in loyalty for customers. And for the fourth option, you could use the store credit with the advanced gift card plugged in. So let's say once you purchase the uh, gift card on the site, the value of this gift card will be turned into a store credit, whether you send it to yourself or you send it to a friend or to your wife or the other person that they could use to purchase a product on your website. So let me show you. I pre-made a product here, a gift card product here. So let's say this gift card is for $100. And once you have the advanced gift card plug in, you'll have the option on the product type for the advanced gift card. And I have it here. So I've placed $100 here and the value of this is 1 is 1, so it's 100. And um, I have added the option, uh, the giftable option. So you do have the option to send it to a friend or to someone else, or you could send it to yourself. So I do have it here and let's check the product on my site. Okay, so once added, you do have it here so here's what i'm i mentioned a while ago you do have the option to send it to a friend so all you have to do is type the name here and type the email here so we do have a reference where we could send it or you could send it to yourself so this option i will send it to yourself and i will add it to the card so let's see here i have the gift card already in my card and then let's check out. Since I chose the um, send to me option, so this $100 will be credited on my account. So I will place the order here. And of course, we have to make sure that the order is completed and paid. So let me go to here and orders and approve the order that I just made. Okay. Change it to completed. Okay, so once completed, I will be here. I do have a re reference that the order is a gift card. So what I'm going to do is I will be adjusting 
the store credit option here. So I will be looking to my name. So this one. And then adjust and increase the store credit to 100. Make an adjustment. So the current balance on my account now would be $185. So there are still a lot of ways on how you could take advantage of this store credit on your site. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to email us or you could comment down below. And for more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye!